Hello, welcome to Antlove Games. I'm your host, Anthony. And, I'm and today we're presenting you with <laughs> the Pixel Fun All in One Play Tabletop. I was going to see if you could do that all by yourself. I did by did myself. So did it yourself. all by myself. <laughs> what the heck is this thing on our table? You probably have this? no idea what this thing is. Which right? is exactly how I felt when we got this to review. Yeah, well, let's take you on a journey. Okay. Right? So, look, we. When we show product here, you know, we're asked to help promote products yes. uh, every now and again. And sometimes you don't know what we're getting ourselves into. So it's hard to really discern what we're actually being asked to look at right. until we receive it. And, they, yes. you know, we're going to put hands on it, uh, put it to practical use and, and go from there. Right? right. So what you're looking at, you're probably going, why is there a giant Lego board on their table? Well, I don't even know if you can tell if this is Lego from where you're at right now, but we will get into but that. But you probably yes. might be able to. Yeah. Um, but these are, for all intents and purposes, looking like Legos, but they're not. Um, they are actually, this this whole platform is, like is made up of square planks. There's, it's a bunch of different squares. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by like four or five. Yes. As well as these border pieces. Yes. Yeah, so it comes in a box in a bunch of piles of pieces. Yeah, I was going to say, you didn't, you didn't go through the whole journey. Yes. Yeah, so the journey up, was. Yeah, right? so it well, showed first up. of all, we were asked to review this product. We get asked to review lots of products, and we yes. usually say no to most of them because we are not a review product channel. But every now and then, we get something that I've been asking for for a very long time, and this is one of them. Yes. <laughs> now, <laughs> as you can see from the, from the beginning of this video, I don't know if this was the intended purpose for this thing. But I think it should be the but intended purpose. But it should purpose. be, because I have been asking for a way Well, to... I wouldn't even break it, because we're going to show that at the end. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're not starting off with that. I thought we were starting no, off with that. you can't right, tease. Well something in the beginning <laughs> you saw the thumbnail yeah well no the thumbnail's not going to show any of that so oh okay yes. <laughs> well we have, so we have a different vision we have a different vision because <laughs> what i'm saying is what most people will think of when they see a table like mm -hmm. this is let's put it, it's a table elevator right and as you can see and i'll push right. it out here like it's above the table right it mm -hmm. raises the plat the playing platform yes. and you're like well, why would i need that right in some instances, if you have a smaller table, it right. actually gives you more room, so you can put mm -hmm. like your player boards underneath it. Right. Yeah. And you have a giant game board Which you can we have put done. it on top. Yeah, and we, we have we've done. done that before, but that's not my ideal mm -hmm. uh, use for it. Now, why why does that make a difference? Because if you if you play a lot of board games, you already know this, and you've got mm -hmm. a game on the table, and you have your player board in front of you, you're like really far away. Yeah. From yeah. the game board, and it's, and you're almost like we do a lot of standing. We do. Up. I was about to say we do a lot of standing up, yes. and I would actually. They, like even sitting here, I feel more comfortable in arm's reach of what's right here in front yep. of me. But even standing up and playing, I don't feel like I'm now reaching really far down. Right. You know what I mean? Exactly. It's like a so standing desk. It kind of just brings the main board closer right. to everybody at the table. So that's a, that's a pretty good use. Mm -hmm. Us personally, we found a much better use for our <laughs> for our purposes, and yeah. we'll show you. Like I said, we'll show you that in a moment. But to continue on our adventure here, this yes. came in a box that was just pieces. And yes. when I opened it up, I had no idea where like, where to begin with What this. even is this? Yeah. And I was like, is this something that we're even going to want to review? Blah, blah, blah. So we put the whole tabletop together, mm -hmm. put the edging on, and then clamped on all these little bottom feet. Now, these bottom legs, they all easily pop right off right. and then pop right on, just like a Lego would. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, boom, boom. So you can kind of arrange them any way yeah. you want to get the maximum sort of like stability. Yeah. Right. So you don't need an engineering degree to put this together. Wow. Well, uh, but it would help. That's not, because, that's not what you said when I tried to put it together. Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> which is with most uh, items that you put together, I tend to want to get involved. Yeah. So uh, so it, you don't hurt yourself. Any which further. I did. Which you did. <laughs> so it's really not that hard to get, put together, but all of the edges of the pieces have these really small teeth mm -hmm. that fit together and lock all of the individual squares Yeah, together. that's what I would say. Like, if, if you're looking at this going, it's a Lego, that's the way it's not a Lego because right. it does, it has like these teeny tiny little zipper teeth yep. that you kind of put together like this exactly and it, they, and they, they fit really together. snug yeah, and that's really what, what is it was that's why you can't even tell and that's holding the table right. together yeah and it does fit very flush and it mm -hmm. does and it works out so um when we began to play on it personally what we like to do is lay uh neoprene mats on top of this yeah, do and, you want me to and, and use that, that as the surface if you have one handy we could just we don't show. have one that fits this exact size right. but we have several neoprene but we have mats. so you could you could lay these mats and this gives you a bit of the scale of how big this table actually is but we um, like, thank you solar yeah. storm <laughs> yeah so you can lay these out we don't have one perfectly sized mat to fit it so you yeah. could but you lay could a probably few get a custom ideally one. i would 
I would order one that fits custom to this, uh -huh. that, that would fit inside of it. Yeah. That way you've got a nice playing surface. Yep. It's easy to pick up cards. Um, and again, this is like, it, it has its purpose if you can find the right purpose for it. And yeah, we yeah. have, yes. which was, we did not think we would. I knew I would from but, the get-go. Uh, well, we had to test theory. We had to test theory. I wasn't sure if it was going to work. But. And the theory worked. So we'll bring that up on screen right about now. <laughs> right? So as you can see, this is the intended purpose for us <laughs> of this table. We, we, right. we spent many, many days um, getting in bed and, and early in the evening yes. and, and basically saying, you know, I'd love to play a game right now. I just don't feel like going to sit this at, was, at a table. Well, and I'll be honest with you. This was me throughout both pregnancies. Yeah. Um, and both postpartum mm -hmm. periods where like we would have a newborn like right there. Our main gaming area is either in our dining room or in our basement. It's hard chairs. It's not super comfortable. Um, I mean, we don't have soft chairs here, but it's like cold in the basement. Yeah. You don't know. You, at the end of well, a long day, so. we're both it's... working. Like, so I just want to be lazy. Like, I am lazy sometimes, and I just want to be in bed, mm -hmm. cozy, right? And just play like a game. play a game, like while we're sitting in bed. Now, granted, you're not going to you know? put like the biggest, heaviest board game you own on this table. No, no, uh -uh. but even but it has enough space. It, it does have the space for yeah. a for most standard size mm -hmm. board games. You yeah. can get away with it now. Like I said, but I'm talking when I say big, I mean giant. Because right. there's some games that have just oversized boards, and then you've yeah. got player boards you got to deal right, with. So right. you might not want to do that. But I think for any card game, oh yeah, out there, yeah. you could you could more than uh, this would be more than sufficient. Mm -hmm. And you know, it sits sturdy. You got your padding on it. You got your game out. And we literally will sit in bed, uh -huh. lay the game out, <laughs> have the TV on, uh -huh. and just take turns playing. Like, yep. And I'm like, and it just sort of satisfies that little itch that you have to play a board game, uh -huh. but not do the whole exercise of putting it out on the table, getting a chair, sitting in the dining room. I'm, all, like, I'm in a stiff chair. Right. I'm like, I just want to like relax right now right. in my bed. Yeah. And still play. Right. And we've, we would, so many times we just sit there and go, why doesn't somebody create something that we could put I've, over the bed? I have designed something like this so many times in my head. Right. I'm like, how do we make like something portable? We've, I think we've tried in the past to put mm -hmm. like one of like our homemade, like hardwood, like tabletop things yeah, like it on top. It, just it doesn't really work. work. Right. Um, so I was surprised with how sturdy this was yep. on the bed. Yeah. I was and we just sat too. in front and we can just play. You know, just the two of us. Yeah, whatever we want. Nice. And it's good. Yeah, for two players, it's perfect. Yeah. Like, and like I said, if if you think, well, you want something bigger and heavier and sturdier, like, no, you don't. You don't yeah. want that in bed because you need to be able to pick it up and move it. Right. Once you Because yeah. once you climb in bed, it's like, now you've got to move. And you're like, oh, man, i got to shift my weight. And yeah. I get up and the bed's moving and you're right. sinking into it. And it's like, you. this has to be light yeah. so that you can like literally with two hands just pick it up, move it uh -huh. off. Get out of bed. Oh man, I forgot my drink. Let me go get my drink. Yeah. All right, I gotta go get my pretzels. I gotta get my cheese. Like you gotta get all your little stuff so you can eat your snacks while you're playing your game. Yeah. Right. In so bed. that was that's where the light bulb went off when yeah. we when we were looking at this and trying to find you know is this something that we would realistically use because we don't we would never put a product out there that we would never use right. or find a use for because yeah. to be honest we're not we're not here just to to help get a quick sale, but we're here right. to help promote products that we think will bring more value to you. And your gaming experience. As a gamer. Yeah. Not as a game collector, but as a game player. Right. right? Somebody like who, we are. Like we are. And we, yeah. we look for better, easier ways to get our games to the table yes. to get more game time in. Right. right? Yes. And I know that a lot of you are out there yep. feeling the same way as me, kind of lazy at the end of the day. That's it. So. Uh, we'll look at, this thing is on Kickstarter right now. Yes. So, uh, as you can see, it definitely has a, a ways to go. That guy's having fun. He's, he's just <laughs> loving it, right? So, again, we, we were not, this, for us, like, this works. Yeah, but, this isn't, but that's not how this we This isn't our use it. ideal yeah. use for it, which is fine. Everybody yeah. has got their own use. And you will be able to make that choice on your own. So, it's it's got eight backers at this point, 30 days to go. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like, unless you really think through, do I need this? Like, that's mm -hmm. really where you've got to make that choice. Do I want, do I want to, you know, Elevate my experience a little bit. Do I think I need mm -hmm. another way to play games? Would raising? Do I have an issue with? <laughs> I'll tell you what. Reaching the games. You want your partner to start playing games with you. <laughs> Bring the games to them. Bring the games to them. <laughs> <laughs> that is an option. So, um, but like I said, you know, we just want to make sure we you know, did it justice in explaining mm -hmm. how we use this product. Yeah. Um, what our, our sort of initial thoughts are about it. You know, it does what it's intended to do. Yep. 
Um, like I said, it does, it's not like high end and it doesn't need to be. And I yeah. think for what it does, it serves its purpose. And for mm-hmm. us, we sort of repurposed it for the way we wanted it to be. Yeah. Um, and it, that was it, it does it does the job exactly the way we wanted it to exactly so, so and the best yeah. part is if you use it for this purpose usually you can depending on how high your bed is you can slide it like ours fits like right underneath the bed oh yeah yeah you know it's, I mean? it's it's just the right <laughs> so. height so um easy to store or you can knock the legs off and it'll store behind yeah, exactly. anything like right. it, it's yeah. this thin so um okay. but there you have it uh let us know in the comments, if you could see yourself doing something, if you're as lazy as we are, you, you're looking for a way to play games in, in, I know uh, you in bed, are. Uh, I'd love to hear your feedback on that one. Uh, but look, we're just real. This is yeah. what we do. We game uh, and we live life. Like that's yes. that's the end of it. And this helps us do both. Right. Uh, and we're always looking for easier ways to do things. Yeah. But there you go. So go check the link out down below at the Kickstarter. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, hey, if it, if it looks like something you'd be interested in, go for it. But yeah. There you have it. All right. All right. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. We'll see you.